mechanism of ACE inhibitors as antihypertensive drugs. ACE, ACE simply referred to as angiotensin converting enzyme E. It converts angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. ACE, it is angiotensin converting enzyme. It converts angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 is the compound that causes vasoconstriction, okay? And when vessels are constricted, that leads to the increase in blood pressure, okay? Simply, ACE is the enzyme that is involved in conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2, and angiotensin 2 causes vasoconstriction, constriction of the blood vessels, that increases the blood pressure. So ACE inhibitors are enzymes that function here in this step. So basically, they inhibit the enzyme ACE, okay? So then what happens when ACE inhibitors, for example, captopril, okay? Examples of ACE inhibitors, captopril, okay? Enapril, lisinopril, and so on. So ACE inhibitors such as captopril, when they are used, then angiotensin 1, Conversion into angiotensin 2 is blocked, okay? So angiotensin 1 cannot be converted into angiotensin 2. Then what happens? Then what happens is that then there will not be vasoconstriction, which means there will be vasodilation because angiotensin 2 causes vasoconstriction. When its conversion from angiotensin 1 is blocked, then that actually leads to vasodilation. And vasodilation means low blood pressure, okay? So, how AC inhibitors work? AC inhibitors, they inhibit the enzyme. Competitively, they inhibit the enzyme ACE. ACE, that means that angiotensin 1 is not converted into angiotensin 2. That means that results in vasodilation. And vasodilation means low blood pressure. Okay? So, this is the mechanism of AC inhibitors. Now, let me talk about one of the major side effects of AC inhibitors, that is dry cough, okay? So, dry cough is the major side effect of AC inhibitors. And how dry cough occurs, okay? So, in our body, we have bradykinins and other kinins. For the metabolism of bradykinins and other kin kinins, we require the enzyme ACE. So, basically, ACE metabolizes bradykinins and other kinins, and hence we get the metabolites of these compounds. When ACE is inhibited, then what happens? So basically bradykinins and other kinins, they will not be metabolized because the ACE inhibitors, they block this enzyme and hence bradykinins and other kinins will not be metabolized. Therefore, we will not have the metabolites. That means that if these things are not metabolized, their amounts will increase in the lungs, okay? Their amount will increase in the lungs and that causes irritation of the bronchii, which leads to the dry cough, okay? So, AC inhibitors, what, what they do, they simply block these ACE enzymes, which is responsible for the metabolism of bradykinins and other kinins. That means that their levels will increase in the lungs that causes the irritation of bronchi which leads to dry cough.